case you guys have no idea who Matt Smith is, yes, he is indeed Doctor Who. So Doctor Who is in Star Wars Episode 9. I'm not quite sure what to think right now. I've heard that he's a good actor. I'm pretty sure he's a solid actor. What kind of role can we expect to see in this movie? Now we do know that there are a group of male actors in their 20s working with Adam Driver between the ages of 21 to 27 for apparently the Knights of Ren. But as far as Matt Smith goes, the fact that he's going to be a key role in this movie according to Variety, I think that he's going to have some kind of importance in this film that will actually stir things up within the plot itself. So looking at Matt Smith, you know, he comes from Doctor Who and Terminator Genesis. At least that's all I personally have seen him in. I'm sure he's been in a lot of other projects as well, but he's a pretty solid actor in my book. I think that he fits the Star Wars element as well. So looking at episode nine here, when it comes to Matt Smith's character, the name of his character is Vance. Now, personally, I believe that that is just a code name. So, Matt's character won't begin filming until November as well, the same exact time until both Dominic Monaghan and Richard E. Grant will begin. Now, his role will be very action heavy and he will be training for his role until November of this year comes along. So, I'm not sure when in November Matt Smith will begin filming as well as Dominic Monaghan and Richard E. Grant, but I do. I really do find it very intriguing on how he won't be filming any scenes until both Dominic Monaghan and Richard E. Grant are all set and ready to go in November. Now we don't know too much about him, but we do know a little bit about what he's going to be doing in this movie. That could very well be some indicators here that he's actually the big baddie or one of the baddies in Star Wars Episode 9. Now, Matt Smith apparently will be training for action-heavy scenes this September, this month of 2018, that are to be shot in October. It's said he will be working with the male actors in their 20s that will also be working with Adam Driver. Now, in case you guys missed it, a couple of weeks ago, we went over the male actors in their 20s. They are actually going to be ranging from ages 21 to 27, and they are presumably the Knights of Ren. No confirmation on the Knights of Ren as of yet. So what we do know about Matt Smith's character is that he will be training for action heavy scenes this month and they will be shot in October. And by the way, apparently they will be shot over at Cardington in the UK. So Matt Smith, I think he's a pretty solid actor. I'm glad he's on board. It seems like JJ is getting a lot of talent for this movie. Uh, my three main uh, new actors and actresses that I'm really excited about are Kerry Russell, Dominic Monaghan, and Matt Smith, and Richard E. Grant. So in case you guys have no idea who Matthew Smith is, he is Doctor Who, he plays Skynet in Terminator Genesis. Uh, those are his most known roles as well as others. And looking at episode nine, we do know that JJ Abrams brought him in for a reason. It's actually reported that he is going to be a key role in episode nine. Now, these past couple of days, we have been learning more about this film, specifically with Matthew Smith. So now, Matthew Smith is set to shoot scenes the second week of November at Pinewood and Cardington. He will be working with the male actors in their 20s, which could very well be the Knights of Ren, no confirmation on that though, and will have scenes with Adam Driver as both Driver and Smith will be working on the same sets together. The name of his character is said to be Kato, K-A-I-D-O, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but that could be a code name. Now, this is the thing here. The thing here about Matthew Smith's character is that we knew, we do know that it's going to be a key role for him in episode 9. J.J. Abrams brought him in for a reason, and the fact that apparently he is going to be working with the male actors in their 20s and Adam Driver, could he quite possibly be Kylo Ren's new apprentice, or maybe he's one of the Knights of Ren?
Now today we will be focusing on Matt Smith's character. Now these past couple of weeks we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set designs, the set leaks, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which specifically goes over a description over a character that resembles Matt Smith's face. In black bulky armor very similar to General Zod's from Man of Steel. Other than the fact that we do know that the male actors in between the ages of 21 to 27 are currently training for their roles with axes, spears, and shields, which honestly guys, to me, come on, it has to be the Knights of Ren. And the description of Matt Smith's character being in this bulky black armor, and that honestly kind of gives me a vision that they may very well be the type of armor suited for the Knights of Ren. Again, what we saw in The Force Awakens could have been a flashback and or a flash forward. It's very hard to tell. To tell. I'm sticking with the concept of that being a flash forward of what we saw in The Force Awakens. Now we do know that J.J. Abrams gave Matt Smith a key role in Episode 9. When it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with one of the new characters being implemented into this movie portrayed by Matt Smith. Specifically a description of Matt Smith's character codenamed Kato next to Kylo Ren in a large throne room like environment. Smith's character is described as wearing black robes with a hood over his head next to Kylo Ren. It's described that in his right hand he wields a lightsaber hilt that appears to be a single blade with the design of it being a mixture between both gold and silver. Another goes over both Kylo Ren and Kato back to back with ignited lightsabers. His lightsaber has a red blade and appears to be stable. They are surrounded by dozens of clan members ready to attack with their weapons. Lastly, a description of Smith's character on the ground with an enemy running toward him with Smith's lightsaber, igniting and striking through the enemy on the ground. So what's really intriguing about all of this is that we do know that Matt Smith has a key role in this movie. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. One of which has all to do with one of the new characters in episode 9. Specifically a description of a new character in black armor that appears to be Matt Smith's character in a standoff with Kylo Ren during a thunderstorm. It's described that this new character is pointing a blaster rifle at Kylo Ren and is holding Kylo Ren's lightsaber hilt. It's described that this is one of the new eight characters by JJ for the second act of the film. The next goes over the character taking a shot at Kylo Ren, only for Kylo to use force stasis again, just like what Kylo did with Poe on Jakku. However, in this situation, Kylo releases the two shots and hits the character's armor and throws him into a boulder. The last goes over Kylo Ren force grabbing his lightsaber and igniting it, as if Kylo is ready to strike him down, however then deactivates it and spares his life. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this that are really piquing my interest for this movie when it comes to this new character that may very well be Matt Smith's new character in episode 9. So we do know that Matt Smith has a key role in this movie and is likely going to be either A, the new villain in the film, or B, one of the Knights of Ren or a lead Knight of Ren in this story. Like I say, we're not quite sure for certain if this is going to be Matt Smith's character. However, it is described that it appears to be Matt Smith's character. We do know that Matt has a key role in this movie, a very important role, also in the second act of the movie, leading into the ending of episode 9. 